have an unboxing today. Well, I have two unboxings. First one is some wax melts. And, shh, let me tell you a secret. I know that I buy all of these um, artisan wax melts. I know that I do that. Um, but my very favorite wax melts scent. My very favorite comes from this company on Etsy that I've never really seen them on Instagram. I mean, they do have an Instagram page, but they don't really use it. Um, it's called the Candle Confectionery. And they have this blueberry pumpkin scent that is my all-time favorite scent. I've actually um, featured that these this scent. I'm sorry, I've actually featured this scent um, from them before, various times on various unboxings in different shapes. Because every time I order from Candle Confectionery, I always order the same scent. I order different scents along with it, but the staple is the blueberry pumpkin. Even for Christmas, I order the blueberry pumpkin. Um, but I started off with Halloween, which is where I started the blueberry pumpkin scent. This time I ordered different Halloween shapes, and they're just um, pumpkin shapes and bat shapes. Um, I don't want to open up the bag, but uh, so we have the skull, we have the bat, and we have the pumpkin. So that's all the shapes that we have here. I think I have a witch here. Or is that a bat? No, that's another bat. So that's all it is, is those three shapes. But let me tell you, this really, really does smell super, super. Again, lots of artisan wax melts. You guys see me with these artisan wax melts. Sorry, cat hair. My cat jumped up here a second ago. Um, lots of artisan wax melts all the time, all the time. You guys have seen it. Um, and I've never ever said, you know, who's my favorite shop or what's my favorite scent. This is it. Very simple, down home. This is my favorite um, scent, favorite shop. For wax melts and then I also got the most adorable um, hats which is hats and um, oh a couple of them broken transit and brooms which is my favorite thing to buy from um, October through the end of November I'm buying these which is hats and brooms also in the same scent so it is a blueberry pumpkin from Candle Confectionery and that's all that I bought from them and that's all that I will continue to buy. I think I broke another one. It doesn't matter. They're going to be melted. Um, but I can smell right through the bag. Love, 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 love this scent. I've had this scent in snowflakes. I've had this scent in different type of shapes but honestly my favorite scent of all time. Um, and nothing fancy their shapes come in different confections, you know, sort of like bakery shapes. Um, so not necessarily the shapes that um, you've seen that I've had, which have been magnificent with Pixie and Toad or Villainous Wax, which are excellent as well. Um, so nothing, you know, artisan other than down-home comfort food confections. I love this candle or wax place of course they also have candles so that's it for the candle confectionery on to my next unboxing the next unboxing i'm super excited about it is from one of my faves it is from loreworks it's my chick i really love to support her Sherbert lemon. That sounds delicious. I love lemon. Huh? And here's her card. And let's see what is wrapped here. No, let's see what's already open. So we have this uh, Shea body cream. 
And let me tell you what is so special about um, samples. So she sent me a little tiny jar of sample of buttered beer body cream. Because I had mentioned how much I dislike butter beer. Because typically butter beer smells disgusting to me, like gross. Anything that I've had that's butter beer, it smells disgusting. So she sent me a sample of hers to. I'm sorry, I have paint all under my nails. I just had a, a class, um, children's art class from my business. But um, she sent me a sample of hers to smell and. Um, it does not smell like that stuff at all. I mean, you can tell that it had the same um, components, but in a very, very nice way, obviously, because I wouldn't have bought a whole jar of it. And then also some soap, if I did not really, really enjoy the scent. So this is her new jelly. This is her new jelly soap. Oh, and it too smells delicious. And it is her jelly soap. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. It is so shimmery, obviously. And I'm going to enjoy this uh, um, in my tub. It is, what does it say? I, I was reading, it's a magical bath jelly. I think that it also can be used as bubble bath. Trying to read the instructions here. Remove entire jelly from jar. Cut into dime-sized pieces. A little goes a long way. Use to wash hands. Squish a piece into the shower loofah. Lather. Add a small handful to strainer and place under water to create a rich bubble bath. Hmm, that color under my nail is getting on my nerves. What is it? Brown? Green and brown. So much fun creating art with children, but then when you come home, oh, look at all the shimmer on my finger and just touching that. When you come home, you have to scrub, scrub, scrub under your nails to get the color out. This thing is beautiful. Oh, still have paint on my hands, too. This thing is beautiful, and um, it smells amazing, and look at the shimmer just from touching it for a couple of seconds. And so that is the, the beauty and the value of sending out samples such as these, is that she made me a believer and then I was a return customer for more products because I would have never purchased it never ever had she not sent me a sample because I think buttered beer smells disgusting so what have we here but look at this this is yet another bar of soap that I probably will never ever use this is zero soap it is so pretty she works her tail off getting this stuff done. I don't know, even know how she does it. It is beautiful. It's all sparkly around him. Anyway. So to remind myself how much I paid for this stuff. I'll let you know about the wax as well because I forgot. I paid $9 for the Nightmare Before Christmas soap. The body cream I paid eight dollars for and the soap I paid um six dollars for so um thank you for including the price isn't it this is so sparkly down here this it's catching the um flash very nicely so and then I got a free sample which I will try and probably end up buying some product for because of that so that's it for the beautiful lore works. Look at that. Woo! I will let you guys know how that goes. All right, back to the um, candle confectionery. Those were five ninety five for the thicker wax melts for the. I think they call it bakery tarts yeah the bakery tarts which are the thicker ones and for the witches hats brooms those were $5.95 for the bag so very um, nice prices for each alright guys that's all for today's unboxings
talk to you guys soon bye